It's been three years since this electric scooter, Xiaomi Mi 2 Pro, had its premiere. I bought it last month for £150 here in the UK. And I'm going to tell you why I think it's a great value for money. Coming up. Firstly, let's talk about the spec and some of the features. Now, this electric scooter has 300 watt motor and it's great because the range is up to 28 miles. In the real world, we're talking more about 20 miles. There is three modes that you can choose from. You've got the pedestrian modes, standard mode and sport mode. There is also double braking system in the front and the rear. This electric scooter weighs only 14.2 kilograms, which means you can fold it down and put it in your boots or take it with you to the train. However, there's only IP54, which means you should not really use it in the rain. So we have this OLED display here, power button, great because you can use the app to see the range, uh, you can change some additional settings, miles, kilometers, this is the acceleration. As you can see, the build quality is pretty decent. I bought this used uh, and this one has about two years. There are some scratches here and there. There is even a uh, you know, broken piece here. However, when I looked on Amazon, I can get a whole mud guard for around £10 here in the UK. So really nice you know as you can see some scratches here and there but generally speaking for 150 pounds i think it's a steal now the capacity of the battery is uh, around 470 watt an hour which is basically half a kilowatt uh, so it will cost me about 50 pence to do 20 miles wow you know you get your money back very quickly as I said before, I have been using it for over a month and the things that I like is definitely the range. There's no suspension here, however, the, uh, the tires are pretty solid, so you can even go off-road on the grass and then it should be absolutely fine. It's so much fun to ride. This is definitely not the fastest device that you can find. However, for school run, uh, shopping here and there, then you should be absolutely fine. Worth mentioning when you're buying a second hand, uh, when you ask to the owner, tell them to unpair it on their system because when I bought it, I got home and I couldn't connect it to the app. However, I sent a message to the guy, he unpaired it and I was ready to go. So this is something worth considering in the future. As soon as you are connected, then you will be able to see the production date. So here you can see May 2020. There is even option to choose your regenerative braking from low, medium to high. That's pretty impressive for electric scooter. You know, I have this option on my um, electric cars, but for scooter, really nice feature. Not to mention about cruise control. There is also option to turn the rear light on using the app. That's pretty impressive. And when you go to your app, you can actually see how many miles your scooter had when you bought it. So I can see here just under 400 miles. I wish I knew about this before I purchased one because I would actually ask because the guy was advertising as nearly new, which is not a truth. Now, when the scooter is locked and someone trying to steal it, it starts to beep and it's really hard to push it. I wish the noise was a little bit louder and I would get notification on my phone, but it's still a pretty decent feature, I think. Sadly, when it's very bright, you will be struggling to see what's on your display. That's another downside, sadly. Please remember that the range and the speed will depend on how heavy the rider is. So let's say, for example, my son was able to get 27 kilometers on there. 
Uh, however, when I got on it, I'm 70 kilograms. I was uh, only able to get 25. So I wouldn't really look at those official numbers uh, because they are slightly too high in my opinion. Uh, worth mentioning about the charging. This is not the fastest speed, sadly. It will take about seven uh, up to eight hours to fully charge the thing. However, I only charge it twice in my month. So it's all depending, you know, how often you are actually using it. It's such a beautiful day here in the UK. So me and the kids are going to the park again. I'm going on the scooter, they're going on the bikes. We're gonna have fun again. This is so much pleasure to ride. So let me know your thoughts. So now I'm using cruise control and it's so easy to, to set it up. When you hear the beep, you take your hands off the throttle and you're ready to go. So I can just cruise around following my children. Easy peasy. By the way, if you are enjoying this content, smash the like if you haven't already. Consider subscribing if you would like to see more reward tests just like this one. Cheers! Even when I'm off-road, this scooter is doing absolutely fine. Check this out. However, I wouldn't really recommend, you know, going off-road for too long because it is a bit bumpy, so I can feel my back is just aching now. The scooter is rated for 100 kilograms. I have had a little go with my kids on it. Shouldn't really do it, but we're just doing it in a nice, safe environment. I also had a friend who weighed 120 kilograms, and surprisingly, he was able to go on it without any trouble whatsoever. You see, I don't think I would ever spend 500 pounds on an electric scooter, but 150 pounds seems like a great value for money. What do you think? Would you buy one? Maybe you're using an electric scooter already. Please let me know your thoughts. Hopefully you find this video useful and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.